Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson 12 from ratio tables to double number line diagrams. Double number line diagrams. Okay. So exercise two, we're going to skip one. It's not in the student handbook or student version, not handbook, but student version of the module. So I'm going to skip on to two. And it says, the amount of sugary beverages Americans consume is a leading health concern. For a given brand of cola, a 12-ounce serving of cola contains 40 grams of sugar. And so they put 12 ounces here, 40 grams here. Complete the ratio table using the given ratios to find the equivalent ratios. So if I'm going to work to get a value smaller, I want to divide. So if I divide 12 by 4, because I can see that 4 will go into both of these. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 10 is 40. I'm going to divide by 4. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. 40 divided by 4 is 10. Okay? And in order to find equivalent ratios greater, Going this direction, we multiply. So even if I just multiply by 2, 12 times 2 is 24. 40 times 2 is 80. So I'm going 3, 12, 24, 10, 40, 80. These are all equivalent ratios of 12 to 40. Okay. Now moving on to exercise 3. A 1 liter bottle of cola contains approximately 34 fluid ounces. 1 liter, 34 ounces. How many grams of sugar? So that's the question. And how many grams of sugar is what we want to find out. Would be in a one liter bottle of cola. Well, a one liter bottle of cola is 34 fluid ounces. Okay, so if I look up at this table here, I have 3, 12, 24. I don't have a 34 here. So if I make a table, so I'm going to copy this. Just give me a moment. Okay, so what I have done here is copied this so I can just use the same table that they used. Um, but I'm going to divide this by 2 this time, and that's 6, and that's 20. And so if I go up in increments of 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 6 is 18. Okay, and if I continue this out like so, and I come out here, the next number, 18 plus 6 is 24, plus 6 is 30, plus 6 is 36, and that's far enough, and I'll explain that in a moment. So here's our extended table, and if I'm going up by increments of 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Okay, so now we're going to answer this question. 34 fluid ounces of cola. Cola, 34 ounces is right here somewhere between 30 and 36, okay? So the 34 ounces is between 30 and 36. So this is where a double number line will come into play. So I'm going to draw a double number line. So I'm gonna get a cal uh, ruler. Okay, and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to draw a line that goes from there to there. And then a double number line just simply means to draw two lines of the same length next to each other. Okay, let me get this out of the way. And I want to label my number line by what we're doing. What unit of measure? What do they mean? Well, this is ounces and this is grams. Okay, and then I put an arrow here to show that they continue forever in that direction. Okay, so a double number line is just a way to zoom in on what your, your, the area you are concerned with. So I care about 34. 34 is between 30 and 36, so I only care about this portion of my table. The answer is within there. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to put 30 here for 30 ounces. And way down here, I'm going to put 36. And what's equivalent to 30 ounces is the number of grams in those 30 ounces, and it's 100 grams. And 36 ounces has 120 grams. So just making this table, I, or this double number line, I know that 34 fluid ounces will fall between 100 and 120 grams. So I've already narrowed down my solution to within 20 grams, but I need to get more precise. Okay, 
So if I break these up into five equal pieces, so let me just do that real quickly. Okay, so I've sort of got these out kind of even. So here's 31, here's 32, here's 33, here's 34. Oh, and I'm lacking one, okay. Okay, that's better. So we have 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So my answer that I'm looking for is right here. So 100, if I did the same over here and I put marks that are equivalent locations, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. 20 is one, that's a distance of 20 grams. And if I break it up into six equal portions, that'd be three and a third. Okay. So this is 103 and one third, 106 and two thirds, 100 and 10. Okay, and that's the midpoint, so that makes sense. And plus three and a third, 113 and one third, and 116 and two thirds. And then 116 and two thirds plus three and a third is 120. So I have now narrowed that down to my answer, which is right here. And the answer is Explain and show how you arrived at the solution. How many grams of sugar would be in a liter of cola? 113 and one third grams of sugar. Okay, so this is just a lesson on zooming in on our solution on a double number line where we know values and we can calculate the distance by dividing by how many spaces we have to see how much distance there is between each, or in this case, how many how many grams each mark counts for. Okay, so that's a double number line. Exercise four, a school cafeteria has a restriction on the amount of sugary drinks that they allow their students. Drinks may not have more than 25 grams in sugar. They can have 25 grams, but 26 is not allowed. Based on this restriction, what is the largest size cola in ounces the cafeteria can offer the student? So now we're at 25 grams of sugar, and I will do this in purple. If I look up at my table I've made, um, 20 grams is here, 40 grams is here. So the area we're focusing on for this problem is right here. So I'm going to do a double number line to represent that. So we're still talking about ounces and grams. So if I bring my ruler up here and draw a line, okay and then dry line. All right, move this out of the way. Made that one a little too long, about the same length. Doesn't have to be exact. Okay, and draw my arrows here, and this is ounces, and this is grams. I'm going to put a segment, a marker here and here, and a marker down here and here, and we're gonna focus in between Cola ounces six, cola ounces 12, grams 20, grams 40. I know my answer is between 20 and 40 because that's what 25 is, but it's closer to this way. So now if I put 30 here and I mark this halfway, well, halfway between six and 12 is nine. So I'm narrowing it down. I now know that 24 is between 20 and 30. Halfway between 20 and 30 is 25. Halfway between 6 and 9 is 7 and a half ounces to 25. So we're getting really close because I want 24. There's my, or is it 25? It's 25, so I just finished. Okay, super. So my answer is... Drinks may not have more than 25 based on this restriction. What is the largest size of cola they can get? And there it is. The largest sola, cola size they can get is seven and one half ounce cola. Seven and one half ounce cola. It's pretty messy. Hard to write with this pen. C O L A. Seven and one half ounces of cola. 
Okay, exercise five. Chantella shovel solves three math problems in four minutes. Three math problems in four minutes. Okay, I just wrote what the this statement says. Number of questions three, number of minutes four. Use this information to complete the table below. Three times two is six, four times two is eight. Times three, times four, times five. And now we're doing is repeated addition. 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. So there's our table. B. Chantel has a soccer practice on Thursday evenings. She has half of an hour before practice to work on her math homework and talk to her friends. She has 20 math skill work questions for homework. Okay, number of questions 20. 20 is between 18 and 21. So I'm going to focus in on this area of my table to create a double number line. Okay, how many minutes will Chantel have left after completing her math homework to talk to friends? Use a double numbered line diagram to support your answer. So I'm going to bring my ruler down so I can draw nice straight lines. And I will draw this line out like so. And this line, I'll just use the other side of the ruler. It makes it easier. So there's my double number line. Draw this here. Draw that there. Bring the table back up so I can see it. And this is number of questions. And this is number of minutes. So I have already realized that I have 20 questions to answer, and that is between 18 and 21. And so I do a double number line, 18 I can do tw in 24 minutes, and I can do 21 questions in 28 minutes. So those are the values I plug in, and then I'm going to now dissect the lines. So 18 to 21 is 19, 20, 21, 3. So I need 19 and 20, and these have to be equivalent in length approximately, and that looks about right. So this would be 19 questions, and this would be 20 questions. And I not that is the answer I'm looking for, is how long is it going to take me to answer 20 math questions. So if this went up by 1, 24, 25, 26, 27, uh-oh, um, I need to divide 4 by 3, which is 1 and 1 third. So 24 plus 1 and 1 third is 25 and 1 third. This is 26 and 2 thirds. And then 27 and 3 thirds is 28. So my answer is... How many minutes will she have to left after her math homework to talk to her friends? Well, we didn't find that. We found how long will it take her to answer these 20 questions. So we're not done yet. So it took her 26 minutes and two thirds of a minute. Now I need to convert that two thirds of a minute. And I know that there are 60 minutes in an hour. So if I divide that by divide 60 or multiply this by 60, then I get 120 divided by 3, which equals 40 minutes. So two-thirds of a minute, or seconds, not minutes, seconds. Two-thirds, 40 seconds. Okay. So two-thirds of a minute is 40 seconds. Okay, so it's 26 minutes, 40 seconds. Homework took... 26 minutes, 40 seconds. Okay, I'm going to move that down. Okay, she has 30 minutes to do homework and talk to her friends. So if I subtract the time it took to do homework from the time I had before the game, then I will find out how many minutes I can talk to my friends, which is what they're asking. How much time will she have left after completing her math to talk to her friends? So I need to subtract 30 minutes, take 26 minutes, 40 seconds away from 30. 
And in order to do that, I have to borrow from minutes. So I'm going to make this 29 minutes, and I'm going to make this 60 seconds. So I borrowed a minute and called it 60 seconds. And when I subtract, I get 20 seconds. 9 minus 6 is 3. 2 minus 2 is 0. So she has 3 minutes and 20 seconds to talk to friends. Okay, so there's the answer to that question. Okay, that is the end of lesson 12. Go do your problem set.